Hey guys, what's going on? So I was just poking around the update a bit and uh, I wanted to learn a bit more about it before I started recording but we went into the super lab and then we have this dude telling us about it so I decided to start recording now uh, so we can go through this. Uh, welcome to my super laboratory where we perform super evolutions. So I guess most people know about this already but uh, we're just gonna quickly uh, go through the little tutorial doodad. So this dude is basically saying we're having an Evo 4. Tina can tell you more about those if you're curious. So here we have Vulpin S Horn and Vulpin S Ran. Uh, it doesn't seem like they have any different stats, but uh, perhaps a different super. So I'm not too sure, but it looks like the super skill just deals damage. Uh, this is what it says, or yeah, because there's no like, uh, Evo 4 skill like there is down here. There's the 5 star skill, uh, HP siphon attack down and stuff, but then nothing for the super skill, so I guess that's just damage. And then here is the same thing. I heard we will be getting Yuki and Nike uh, super evolutions as well, so I don't know if they're actually in the game yet. I kind of doubt it, but when they do come, we can check if they have any special stats as well. Hey there, Moga. You here to make super stones? Oh uh, no, I was just stopping to look around, I guess. Well, welcome. <laughs> yeah, I heard it took a lot of farming to get just one of these stones, and then it takes a day to make it, and then you need 30 of them, so like they said, a month, if you have everything ready. So, Super Evolution, I get it. It's Evo 4, basically, so of course it should take a, a lot of grinding and stuff. So yeah, here's basically the menu. You need a lot of stuff. They say where to get them at least. Oh my lord. Are one of these items dropped? From, it's, it says rare or super rare. Do we get one? How many do we get? Because we need 50 of two of them and then 100 of three of them. This item can be obtained from adventure areas on the last boss stage of extreme difficulty. So you actually need to kill the rare or super rare, it seems, uh, on extreme. I'm not sure it won't take longer than 30 days because to get all of this stuff, I would assume for most people it would take more than one day if I'm understanding everything correctly. Because this basically means, well, of course it depends on the drop rate. So if they drop multiple, I think I remember seeing in that Korean video uh, when they were uh, sort of demonstrating that, I think it may have been two. These other ones might just be like common drops from wherever, just like maybe just random drops for running story. So maybe those won't be as hard to ob obtain. You do get them on specific stages here, Lunar Valley, Pagos Coast, and Magma Crags. There probably will be a way just to get the stones uh, instead of crafting, I assume, later on. I also heard on the subreddit MSL game that you can actually speed up that one day wait time for like 300 astrogems, if I remember right. Wait, for light and dark, you need 100 of the... What? Oh, okay, so for light and dark, you need 50 of these that drop from a rare or super rare and 100 of these. So light and darks are actually a lot harder, it looks like. So before we get any further into this video, I do want to stop and give a huge thanks to my recent supporters over on Patreon. I'm not sure if they want to be named in this fashion, so I'm going to wait until I get some clarification. Of course, I put all my Patreons on the outro screen in that little scrolling thing now. But you know who you are, and again, a huge thanks. Uh, that really means a lot. Probably by the time this video goes up, I'll have a little personal message for you guys over on Patreon. But yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Just thanks. It really does mean a lot. But yeah, we're going to be trying to get one of these actually. But if I'm going for a super evolution Horan, I'm probably going to go for the dark one, even though I'm not sure what the uh, popular pick is. Probably I would actually go for light Nike since she may be coming out or one of the Yukis. We're going to go to Skyfalls because that might be one we can beat at least somewhat easily and just kind of see if he actually drops it just like just like that or if or if there's like a chance for him to drop it. All right, so the boss is dead. Do we get it or is it RNG? I'm not sure if we wouldn't get it from the actual boss. It looks like it's probably RNG because uh, this is Extreme Skyfalls, the boss there. So yeah, no idea how rare they are. I'll probably be running a bit and see if I got any. I still haven't picked my uh, light contract yet because I'm not too sure who to go for. I have Light Valk already and I think she actually got changed to Shock if I remember right. Yeah, look at that, she actually has Shock now. I was thinking either going for Light Valk and just fusing my current Evo 2 because I mean, she doesn't really need squares but she doesn't have any anyway um, to get my Evo 3 Water Valk and then I can just have the Light Valk if I decide to raise her later. Uh, then Arthur isn't bad either. I think Odin also got changed. Yeah, she has HP aggression now, which I'm not too sure about. I think I actually preferred her with Sap. 
uh, because, you know, then, you know, she's a really good tanky sapper that you could probably run in B10, but now she just will deal a little bit extra damage while still being ultra survivable. Um, I'm not too sure if HP aggression will really beat out sap in terms of damage. I highly doubt it, actually, unless you're running her with maybe ruin, um, crit rate, HP, HP, something like that. Uh, maybe it would even out then. But as far as I remember, she had a pretty decent sap. So I don't really know. Personally, I'm probably not going to go for her. I mean, she is kind of a, like a passive healer here as well. They also added the light dark birdies, which I'll do a full review on. Not in this video, though, because I usually like to keep those separate uh, from like patch note sort of things. I'm not really going over the patch note in full because I mentioned most of the stuff that happened in the previous MSL video. So they've also added Trixie, which again, I'll have to do a separate review on, but I don't know. I, I assume Birdie is going to be the next rebirth unit. Uh, Trixie, it's a little bit weird because she only has fire, light, and dark. So I can't really imagine she'll be like the rebirth festival uh, hero. So could be she'll be in uh, like one of those special packages like Light Sierra was and uh, Light Scubus, Scubus, etc. So again, I'll have to do a full review on her in, in a separate video. Wow, and I'm just seeing this post now. I'm probably going to get a little bit of hate unless it's already patched uh, for sharing this here. But apparently this guy got 14 materials, which you which apparently are sellable. Uh, the the title is easy 105k gold run seems good 433 seems good so apparently the mats are sellable and uh, he got 14 of them that run not sure if that was lucky because I didn't get any he says Skyfall's last stage with Tiger Boss killed a Shelly on my way and Boss dropped the highest amount of materials too purple materials sell for 10k each red materials for 5k each. So not sure what 433 was drinking, but time for everyone to get rich. So I guess until they fix that, go, go run some Skyfalls. Uh, or maybe not fix. I mean, maybe that's just a feature now. Hey, really good way to farm some gold in the meantime, so go for it. Also, it seems like there's either a, another bug going on or there's a problem with description, but it looks like you can get those materials where it says will drop from a super rare or rare from any dungeon. It's just that you get a guaranteed drop if it's kind of like skill books uh, actually in that way now that i think about it so i uh, yeah that's actually pretty cool then so you don't have to actually kill rares or, su or super rares you'll just guaranteed get them hopefully that is how it is and it's gonna stay that way because that would make it a lot less tedious and uh a bit easier to do we still have our free summon it's actually very early in the morning over here Oh, got a four star. Nezha. All right. There was also an issue with people uh, evolving Astromons to Evo 2 and Evo 3 and not getting rewards for that, but apparently that's been fixed already, so I'm not really going to touch on that too much. Oh, by the way, another thing I want to mention is that, of course, with the guilds being higher capacity, uh, the Scubus and Little Scubus are recruiting again. The requirements for the main guild, so the Scubus, is level 45 plus and 25 attacks a week, and Little Scubus is everyone below that, so level 44 and under. So I just want to throw that out there. If you're randomly looking for a guild, consider ours. We are currently at 29 out of 40, but I guess we should change this description that we are currently full. So yeah, either send your request over or uh, shoot a message over at El Magico, uh, number 8268, uh, discord.gg bkefv8d. Well, that's our discord server. Uh, typically he likes everyone to be in the discord server that's in the guild. So I guess that would be sort of a requirement as well. Also, while I was doing my Titan battles last night, I realized that I got a high fire egg, I believe. Probably still have it in here. Well, I have two of them. I guess I had one before. Dropped that from Titans. I believe you can also get high eggs in CVC now as well. So that's pretty cool. Also, I'm not too sure what to make of these two images, but I was sent these by an anonymous source. I haven't seen them anywhere else because I was just scrolling through the Reddit and I didn't see them there. Maybe they are. Maybe I just missed them. Quite interesting. We have a sixth element here on this chart. Uh, apparently this sixth element is called the void element, so it's not weak or strong against anything. And then these green gems, I don't know what to make of them. They, if you look closely, they have a little, uh, sh green shield on them. So it could be something to help their survivability. That's what I assume. But yeah, let the speculation commence. But yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, just kind of the surface of the update. Not going too in depth into anything before I fully understand everything that's going on. And I haven't really had a chance to do that yet. Uh, but I'll be getting into it. Also have those new units to go over. Darklight Birdie and Trixie, of course. So looking forward to that. Make sure to leave a comment down below telling me how you feel about this update. Leaving a like would also be greatly appreciated if you did happen to enjoy. Also subscribe, you know. You know, little little red button down there. Can, uh, it's quick, fast, easy, free. Thanks guys, as always, for watching. 
And until next time... Once again, a huge thank you to the supporters over on Patreon. 